What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. I'm just so lonely. I don't think I ever expected being in a situation where I am actively trying to make connections and not being able to do so. That is strange. And that feels like a product of age. It, it feels... Older women, younger men. Go. What do we think? Well, I think it's... What is that called? Hag maxing? <laughs> I did a video on that the other day. Completely appropriate. And I think that we should be able to date whoever we want. Of course. I am not talking about a 16-year-old with a 30-year-old. I'm talking about consenting adults with a 5, 10, 15 year age gap, anywhere from 30 up, you know what you're doing, okay? So I think it's fine. I got a message the other hey. day from a friend. Have that same energy with older guys and younger women. Have that same energy. Because this is what you're talking about. You know, if in my opinion, if, if a kid is 18, now I guess they're not a kid, they're an adult at that point. But if you're 18, you should be able to date whoever you want. You're 18, you want to date somebody who's 60? Cool, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, it doesn't matter. You're an adult now. If you're old enough to sell your body online, you're old enough to date whoever you want. Chat, do you agree? Friend, actually more of an acquaintance, um, messaging me, asking me about the Tinder neighbor, okay? And he said, how old is he? I said, 49. He said, why are you bothering? You're eight years older. I'm six years older, but sure. Okay, I'm 56. 56? This guy turns 50, I don't Dang. know, in a month. I said, well, you know, yeah, six years. And um, he said, but why? Why are you bothering? I get that you act young, um, but why are you bothering? He's just after like a sexual thing. And I kind of thought, I don't act young. I have a young energy. I love life. I embrace things. I say yes to everything. I love adventure. I'm spontaneous. She's a runner. She's a track star. You say yes to everything? Rutro. I'm not a 56-year-old old nana. Even doing my washing, see? The kettle's done. House proud as well. Um, but I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> sure. um, anyway, I have a really good life. I love my life, and I don't need someone. You love your life so much that you're online talking about it. <laughs> but I think the people that really love life, they don't get online and talk about their life. And that, that's my And I think couples that are happy together don't post on social media as much. Cass and I, madly in love. You don't ever see me post anything about our relationship on social media. Not on Instagram. I don't have Snapchat. Not on Facebook. Not on YouTube. Like, I, I, I only talk about certain scenarios, but you don't ever see me like, Look, guys, we were out at the park, and we were doing this. I made a little cupcake. You don't see me giving you the cupcake chronicles of what Cass and I do. It's, all, it's the people that are actually, like, in my opinion, unhappy with their relationship that have to project online of how great the relationship is. But I want someone. Do you agree, chat? Okay. But I was really, really surprised. I'm like, come on. Like, are we still talking about young men, older women? Come on. And I have dated younger men, and they have wanted to have relationships with me, but I have had to let them go because I feel like, you know, they're going to want to have children at some point. And obviously that's, I'm past all that. I've got kids. I'm fine. And I love the energy of a younger man. I don't want to date a 60 year No, I know what that means. Loving the energy. Is that what we're calling it now? year old i don't want to date an old man that a sexually they're getting incompatible and b they just become kind of old ladies a little bit you know the old men they lose their testosterone they become more feminine um well you 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 lose your fertility you lose your youthfulness it's the same thing like that's why i say life is a mirror not a window all the things you're talking down on men about there's something else about you that other men say eh. like you can't have kids you're not young anymore. You got a lot of trauma. Don't talk about those things, though. Mm, but I was really surprised that this guy really was thinking that older women can't date younger men. Like, can we stop the judging? Can we just do whatever the hell we want to do? Aren't you judging, though? Didn't you just judge an older guy? The hypocrisy. I gotta go and take my washing out. But you know what I'm saying. Like, I think that women are in their sexual prime in their 50s and mid-50s, and they need... Prime? <laughs> it should be a crime to even say that's prime. Fifties? Doesn't it like biologically dry up at that age? Good lord. Need men in their mid forties or early fifties to keep up. What do you think? Let's talk about. I think you've completely lost it. I think you're off your rocker. <laughs> I think you sound stupid. That's just, but that's my opinion. You take it with a grain of salt, because you know I'm pretty dumb myself. 
I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. I'll keep it a buck. Um, but I feel like I have some pretty base takes. And when you're that old, and this is why men don't feel bad for these women, because like you had pick of the litter when you were 18 to 24, you had a lot of guys that were barking up your tree. But the thing is, you didn't give them the time of day. And now you want a good guy to come in at the end and you know pick up the pieces and play savior. No, we're not doing that. And the thing is, these older women are going through what younger men have been going through. Like men aren't or like men aren't paying attention to you. Well, when guys are young, women aren't paying attention to you. Like nobody wants to give you the time of day. They're wondering what do you have to what do you have to offer? And especially if you want a high value man, ladies, if you're old, you can't give him kids. Your kids are probably grown if you do have kids. Single mom. And so uh, an older guy that has a lot of money, he probably wants a legacy, probably wants to have kids. He wants your youth. He wants your fertility. He wants your excitement of life. A lot of the times these older women, they've seen it all. They've done it all. It's like Jasmine and Aladdin. We want to show you a whole new world. But when you're older, it's like you've already seen the world. And there's a lot of things I think you should do for the first time while you're in a relationship or even married. Buying a dog. You should do that when you're in a relationship, not alone. Buying a house. Buying like a really nice car. There's certain things you should do in a relationship because they have that allure of saying, oh my gosh, look at what we've accomplished together. Now let's go do this. But when you just do everything, like I know Cass, Cass has a friend, single chick. She bought her dream car. It's not that great of a car. It is what it is. She has a house. She has a dog. She has all these things. And I'm like, if a guy comes in and meets you, you're in your 30s now, and you've already done a lot of things that you're supposed to do with a husband. What excitement is he going to give you? Besides none. You're entitled. Your expectations are super high. You're mid at best. Shots fired! But you want a guy that's six figures, six pack, six inches, like other women want him. You want the, the cream of the crop, high value guy. But you, you have like nothing to offer him in return. What is he going to get? A 32-year-old with mileage that's got a bunch of stuff already? Like, come on. Where have all the good men gone? Do you want to know where they went? They have retreated to their homes. Do you want to know why? Because the good men are the ones that have put in so much effort and had women trash them for putting in the effort. Okay. They've had women take advantage of them because they want to be a gentleman. They want to open the doors. They want to pay for your dinner. And you just expect that that is supposed to happen. The idea mm. that you should have multiple men pandering after you just to see which one is the best is atrocious. And this is coming from someone who very clearly wants traditional values in a man and in a relationship. But I am not going to be ignorant to the idea that I'm going to have to contribute something to that relationship, too. I'm going to have to put in the effort as well. I'm going to have to be able to communicate and have conversation and be really comfortable with who I am. But at the same time, understand that if I want a man to be comfortable with himself, I am going to have to allow him the ability to feel comfortable when he is in my presence. None of this... Well, it's, it's the whole thing of being a, being a man's piece and not a piece of the problem. Oh, well, you have to do this and you need to do that. And if you don't handle this, then I'm out. Do I have expectations? Of course I have expectations. My expectations are rooted in having morals and values and being a gentleman and understanding what that means. That means that I am not taking advantage of them just so that I can get a date. Let's be real here. Good men. I, w I mean, based. I love it. You know, I give kudos when I see him. Like, solid on her. Good for her. And actually, like, saying, you know, like, that that is what it is. And But it, but it still baffles me. Like, she's this based, but she's still alone. Like, how do you not have a man and you think this way? But to her point, to piggyback on what she was saying, I do agree with the point of, like, you have to fall in love with yourself before you fall in love with anybody else. Because if somebody, if you're expecting someone to love you, they have to have something to love. And if you haven't done the work internally, nobody can love you externally. That's why I say, guys, like, go out there and become the best version of yourself. And when you do that, you'll attract the right person. But if you chase a person, they're just going to run. It's the same thing with anything. You need to attract things and not chase them. Where have all the good guys gone? Where are they? All Just the keep good getting burned by chads. And well, I'm sorry to tell you this, ladies, but they're done. They've walked away from today's modern women. They're done with dating, done with marriage, done with relationships. 
And no, ladies, it's not because they're scared, like you all are telling each other is the case. No, the real reason they're leaving is because they don't see a point in relationships anymore. Because there is no point in relationships for today's men. They're expected to give, give, give while getting nothing in return. They're told that they need to honor, respect, and provide for women while never seeing it reciprocated to them in any way. They I mean, so true. Most women these days can't even cook, bro. <laughs> right? They can't cook. They can barely clean. They don't have the homely duties. They they barely know how to be you know a partner at all. And a, a lot of the women nowadays are just entitled from what I've seen. They just want... Once again, they know what to expect from a man, but they don't know what a man expects from them. Genuinely don't think that women will be happy alone because they are not happy alone. Is anybody Respectfully, one of the biggest lies is that men can't be happy alone. You give a man his own place, some land, and a dog, I guarantee you he will be perfectly fine as long as he has cable and he has every channel he needs. Second, I, Chat, I 100% agree with that take. 100% agree with that take. But you guys let me know. Would you be okay with... House, Wi-Fi, internet, couple hobbies that you like, whether it's playing pool, playing darts, video games, something like that, every channel. Like, bro, we'd be so happy with a dog. Like, come on, bro. That sounds great. I don't believe most men think most women can't be alone. I do think most men look at women and look at the choices they make and say, she's making bad choices. And then even as a friend, you try to explain this to a girl that's her friend, that's a friend. And she will acknowledge that she makes bad decisions. We see it on here all the time. I'm always... Well, and to, to his point, to his point, Loki, does somebody want a carrot? Oh, licking his lips. Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. This is why you see women get in the social services field a lot more than men do. Men are more interested in things, whereas women are more interested in people. That's why there's more female nurses, more female social workers. And STEM, science, techni uh, technology, engineering, and math, is dominated by men, which is more thing-oriented, not people-oriented. So I don't think women can thrive being alone. I really don't. Women like to yak on the phone. Cass will be yakking on the phone all the time, like, who are you talking to? Oh, I'm talking to so-and-so. About what? Ah, nothing. I can't talk just about nothing. Like when she calls one of her girlfriends, it's a 20 minute conversation, bare minimum. When I call one of my homies, 90 seconds. <laughs> Chat, do you agree with that? Like you call your homie, you get straight to the point. It's like, all right, why, here's why I called. All right, sweet, I'm off the phone. Like I'm not sitting there yapping with you. But I think men can thrive being alone, but women absolutely cannot. No way. Always sabotaging my good relationships. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I love chaos. I love when a man needs me in a relationship and you dating a bum who's stealing all your resources. Do we need to talk about all the videos and all of the comments that we've seen about toxic relationships and how some women love to be in those places? The thing that people do not like to acknowledge is they make poor decisions and they don't look at themselves. They look at other people. Once again, yes. I'm not- Look, Comparison is a thief of joy, and when you get on social media, you're pairing your mundane life to everybody else's highlight reel, and that's what women do. Well, he did this, and I saw he got his girl a bouquet of flowers, and you didn't. That Stop it. That's going to ruin your mindset. Get off of social media. Unless you're creating content, or you consume content for a certain reason, I just don't think people should just be on Instagram or TikTok doom scrolling. I'm not saying that men don't make poor decisions. Men make poor decisions just as much as women do. Yeah, But the thing is, some of you like to blame men and be like, oh, you guys just think we can't be single. No, sweetheart, I know you can be single, but when you decide to put yourself in the dating world, you don't put yourself in the best possible position. When you date- well, Women control access to smush smush, um, <laughs> <laughs> and men control access to relationships. So ladies, if, you're, if you are single, more than likely it's not your choice. I don't think women can be single by choice. I think the good women get wifed up pretty quick. Chat, do you agree? It's someone that is actually good for you and you acknowledge they're good for you, you call them boring. But when you date someone who has the red flags, you ignore all that because they have your adrenaline going. You love the unknown and it makes you feel needed. Alive. It makes you feel wanted. So you put yourself in the worst possible dating position and then you wonder why you have all these scars and all this trauma. All right, let's get well, into women it. Women date these men date uh, based on potential. Well, I think he can be great. <laughs> I think I can turn him into a really good man. Newsflash, you can't. You're not going to turn him into a good man. You're not going to make him something that he's not. This is why I say, ladies, stop falling in love with the potential of a man and fall in love with who he really is. Fall in love with who he's showing you he is. 
And ladies, you just gotta know how to pick better. Tired of getting burned? Stop putting your hand on the stove. It's really that simple. But a lot of ladies don't have the introspective look to say, you know what, I am making bad decisions. I'm picking bad men. So I should probably look at myself, hold myself accountable here, and uh, do something a little bit different. But most of these ladies aren't gonna do that. Everything's taken care of. When we go out, it's handled. I'm gonna sort everything. We're gonna go to the nicest restaurants. We're gonna go to the nicest vacation house. But I can't come home to like a dirty house and be like, you know, you're argumentative or yelling at me or I feel like you're not on the same team as me. I want a girl that's on the same side as me. I want to run away from my problems in the world and come home to my house and close my door and know that my woman's gonna be there to pay this fing. This shit was terrible today. This it was awful. She's like, who was it? How can I help you? That's what I want behind the scenes. And I think a lot of women, and this is not to trigger anybody, but I think a lot of women nowadays, they take like them doing their feminine nurturing role as like a type of oppression and it's not. My That's exactly what they do. Well, the thing is, ladies, L Loki, go to your place. Go to your place. I need my co-star, buddy boy. Um, ladies, you want us to be in our masculine. We ask you to be in our, in your feminine. That's it. Because the thing is, and a lot of what I've seen in chat, let me know what you think. A lot of women that I've seen, it's like conditional femininity. They're like, well, you have to earn my feminism or f feminism, <laughs> femininity. You have to earn me being feminine. It's not a, not a light switch. Kevin Samuels would talk about this all the time. It's not a light switch. You can't just turn it on and off. You either got it or you don't. It's just like Myron Gaines uh, talks about this on Fresh and Fit. He's like, you don't, you don't earn my masculinity. You just think it's part of it. Like if I wanted to wear heels on the weekends and dress up in drag, you wouldn't probably be okay with that. Well, it's the same thing for you. I don't want to have to earn you being feminine, just like you don't want to earn me being masculine. You want me to just be masculine out the box. That's a prerequisite. Just like you being feminine is a prerequisite. But a lot of modern women get this mixed up and it's like so tit for tat. So I did this and he didn't do that and he should have did this. And it's like, you, we got to start thinking more as a team. Like when you think more as a team, you stop like nickel and diming each other. Like nickel and diming, tit for tat, that stuff will break a relationship absolutely down because you're like, well, I did this and he didn't do that and I did this and he didn't, like stop it. It's okay. There's certain things that I'm gonna bring to the table that you can't bring to the table and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But what a lot of people miss out on is they don't have open communication in a relationship and when they bring things up, people get hurt. People take things personally. If you can, like the next time you're you're trying to communicate with someone, whether it's a friend, whether it's a loved one, something like that, try to look at it through a third person perspective. Take your ego out of it and say, all right, what are they telling me right now and how can I apply it to the scenario that they're upset about or they want me to change? How can I do that? If you can do that, more than likely you'll take this criticism in a much better light and you'll actually take it and do something with it. That's something I learned like probably four or five years ago was like when Cass would give me criticism, a lot of times I'd take it personal. I'd be like, man, she's calling me a bad man. No, she's not calling me a bad man. She's just saying that this certain instance made her feel a certain way and she wants me to react a little bit differently. Okay, cool, now flip it. I can do the same thing with her and I have to tell her, hey, don't take this personally. I just wanna talk about this one scenario on how you reacted to this one certain thing. And we do that, communication, much more effective. We can actually get to a common ground and a common resolution a whole hell of a lot faster. But a lot of people don't even do that work. A lot of people get mad. A lot of people get mad and especially women get mad and they they lock up they don't want to talk to you anymore they stonewall you give you the cold shoulder men we don't do that at least for me i'm more of like a hey we have a problem let's hash it out let's get to a solution as fast as possible i feel like most men are like that women want to mull on the problem so the next time a girl comes up to you and she wants to complain about something be like hey i want to hear you out do you want me to give you a solution to this problem or do you just want me to hear you vent about the problem and more than likely she's like i just want you to hear me vent i just want to complain cool go complain i'll be an open ear to your complaints shout out to you guys man we just hit 95k i really really do appreciate you guys man let's go i'm gonna go to the channel real quick and what's up go to the communities tab and then we're gonna go to some of the comments some of the very very kind comments you guys have left um just because i want to show my appreciation dude i've been watching you for about two or three weeks now definitely one of my favorites already you're a genuine guy uh boogie loose love it Holly Pidal, let's go for 100000 You deserve it. Providing us with such entertaining content. Also, Loki is such a cute, well-mannered dog. He listens to you. Scott Bullock, thank you so much. Eight-Legged Cat, I uh, can't even say that one. Jersey General, Patricia Merlo, L. Lancaster, Brian Wilson, Rick Henson, Leonard Smith, Desmond Shannon, DJ Coates Music, Lawnmire, Hill, uh, Hillbilly Hank, Go-Go, Chris, 
Portuguese, Oki, Oki McDoki, Rocky Glass, Michael, Scion, Dracul, Dracul, Tribe, Ad uh, Adarius Dixon, The Galilee, Jason, Stacy, Cost, I can't even say that one, Zy Blanco, John, Brian, Sigs, North Face, James West, Croy, T Robs, Creative Gaming, Auntie, Gunty, Jamal, uh, Tactics, I can't say that one, ASS, JP the Drummer, Perry Statton, Big Ben, and the list goes on. Like, I really do appreciate you guys. Like, I was sitting here, I was sitting here this morning, like drinking my coffee, and I try to go in and reply to comments, but I'm just sitting here, I'm like, this movement has absolutely grown like crazy. Like, really do appreciate you guys. I'm humbled by your gratitude and your appreciation, and I'm humbled also by your support. I really do appreciate you guys. We are seriously around the corner from 100K, and I, I couldn't ask more from you guys. Um, so at 100K, we're going to do something special for you guys. I'm going to keep it under wraps for now until we hit it, but I really do appreciate you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? He's sick of me, dude. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It was good to have you guys out. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.